Hey everyone, welcome to Startup Hack. With my 25 years of development experience here at Startup Hack, we turn beginners into full stack developers in as little as three months. Today we're diving into a showdown between two powerhouse database management systems, Microsoft SQL Server and Oracle. Let's break down their pros and cons so you can make the best choice for your next project. All right, so today we're gonna to dive in and we're gonna talk about the showdown between two very powerful database management systems, Microsoft SQL and Oracle. These two go head to head, especially in the enterprise space. So let's dive in and talk a little bit about their pros and cons for each. All right, so first of all, Microsoft SQL. It's integrated with Microsoft's ecosystem. So if your organization heavily uses other Microsoft products like Windows, service, Windows servers, Active Directory, or Azure Cloud Services, Microsoft SQL integration with these platforms can offer a seamless experience. And a lot of times, most people today are using Azure SQL with their cloud services. Now, Microsoft SQL is known for its user-friendly interface and intuitive tools, making it easier for developers and administrators to work with. Also, Microsoft SQL can be more cost-effective, especially for smaller businesses, due to its licensing options and bundling with other Microsoft products. So, it's interesting to hear Microsoft being called more inexpensive of the two, and, there, and especially if you're comparing to other open source database systems, but this is now against what we're talking about against Oracle. So let's talk a little bit about Oracle. Now Oracle's pros is scalability and performance. Oracle is renowned for its ability to handle large scale, high performance databases, making it a top choice for enterprise level applications. Oracle also, also offers some really advanced features with a wide range of different advanced features for data management, security, and analytics, making it suitable for complex business requirements. Lastly, it's cross-platform comp compatibility. Oh, that's hard to say twice. Oracle supports multiple operating systems, including various flavors of Unix and Linux, as well as Windows, providing flexibility in deployment options. So Oracle definitely uh, is more you know, supportive, whereas Microsoft, uh, you have to run Microsoft SQL only on Windows. All right, so those are some of the pros, and let's dig into some of the cons here. So now for Microsoft, it has limited scalability. While Microsoft SQL Server can handle large databases, some users have reported scalability issues compared to other database management systems like Oracle. Also, as I was talking about, it's operating dependency. Microsoft SQL primarily runs on Windows, which can limit deployment options for organizations that prefer or require other operating systems. And lastly, it's features. Microsoft SQL may have fewer advanced features compared to Oracle, especially in areas like analytics, partitioning, and data warehouses. Now let's go to the Oracle cons. The number one thing with Oracle cons is its cost. Oracle is super expensive. Oracle's licensing and support costs can be significantly higher than other database management systems, making it less accessible or smaller, uh, for smaller businesses or projects with limited budgets. In fact, I would kind of throw a challenge out there to see if anyone has any more expensive database systems than Oracle. Also, the complexity. Oracle databases can be complex to manage and administer, requiring specialized skill and expertise, which may lead to higher operational overhead. So not only do you just need an expensive database, you're probably going to need a really expensive database admin, from my experience, because of those complexities. Now, vendor lock-in. Once an organization heavily invests in Oracle ecosystem, switching other platforms can be challenging and costly, potentially leading to vendor lock-in. I have a manual, a only way to really port databases from uh, Oracle is manually. Now, it does follow some, you know, mostly closely to T-SQL, so you can export it, but with some effort. So, um, and that's kind of generally as we see versus Microsoft SQL where it's very simple to set up and run. Pretty much anybody can do it. You don't, most developers I know are able to manage a, even a production version of Microsoft SQL. So those are some of the cons. But let's dive into some of the code samples because we always provide code samples with every one of our videos. So make sure you check the link down below to check out the code samples and make sure you download them because everything we go through in the video is in those code samples. So we'd love to provide code samples because we love to train developers. So let's dive into some of these code samples. So Microsoft SQL pretty much comes with .NET. I mean, you technically do need to include it into the system. Uh, the system.data SQL client, but if there's any 
uh, database connectivity that is as closely integrated as possible with .NET, it is Microsoft SQL, of course. So you take the database manager, you throw in the connection string, uh, you can see that you can open connection and close connection, which is always a good idea with Microsoft SQL. You can execute a, a non-query, then you have the dispose. Um, so we can see that here we have a very simple example where we get the connection string, we give it to the database manager using the using statement, and as long as I can remember, this has been a recommended practice from Microsoft. We open the connection, we create a table, and then we would execute a query and close the connection. So again, very simple, very straightforward. You'll find lots of code samples, uh, but we provide it as well. Now with Oracle, we can actually expose, uh, extend the I disposable here and create a data, another, use the same database manager class, but now we're going to use it with the Oracle Manage Data Access client. We can see that an open connection, closed connection, create table, all very similar to the database, uh, the code that we had before. Um, again, using the using statement. So this code looks very, very similar to what it has before, but what we get here is when we create the table, we have both the open and the close in that method. So um, we can see that this would uh, create some, some examples there. So these are very simple ways for you to be able to, uh, you know, to check out and get started on coding up some of these. Um, again, find an Oracle database to connect to if you've tried for the first time, unless you have an, or an existing Oracle database, very expensive and complex to get set up. But make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. I'm curious to hear what you guys think. Let me know whether you prefer Microsoft SQL or Oracle. I'm going to be pretty hard-pressed to believe there's a ton of .NET developers out there who love Oracle. I think you're going to find a lot of people who like Microsoft SQL. Not a ton who love Oracle, but be curious to hear why. Tell me what you think your pros and cons are and see what I've left off here. Um, I always make sure I reply back to all the comments. So make sure you like and subscribe to the channel because we try to bring you really guys helpful content. Talk to you guys next time. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel because we bring you lots of great tutorials and tips that every developer should know. See you next time.